Previously, we human beings, we thought that the world was flat. It was in 1577, when Sir Francis Drake sailed around the Earth, that he first time proved that the Earth on which we live, it is spherical in shape. The Quran mentions 1400 years ago, in Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, Wal ard baad azalika dhaha, and thereafter we have made the Earth egg shape. One of the meaning of dha is an expanse, and the earth is an expanse. The other meaning is derived from the Arabic word dhuya, which means an egg. And today we know the earth is not completely round like a ball. It is flattened from the pole. It is geospherical in shape. And if we analyze the Arabic word dhaha, doesn't refer to a normal egg. It specifically refers to the egg of an ostrich. And if we analyze the egg of an ostrich is too geospherical in shape. Imagine the glorious Quran. 1400 years ago says that the earth is geospherical in shape. Previously, we thought that the light of the moon was its own light. Recently, we have come to know that the light of the moon is not its own light, but it is a reflected and borrowed light. The Quran says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 61, Blessed is he who has placed the constellation in the sky and placed the herin, sun, a lamp having its own light and moon having borrowed or reflected light. So the Quran describes the moonlight as borrowed or reflected, which we came to know recently in science. Recently in science means 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back. 